for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Mad Sheet as always. Got another Madden 24 video for you guys today. Today I'm be going over what I think are the biggest changes coming to Madden 24. The beta has been out for some time, and a lot of people from the Madden community have been playing it and leaking uh, a lot of different things that they found in the accessible parts of the beta. And I'm going to go over the ones that I think are going to be either the best or the biggest changes from Madden 23. Before I get into the video, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this leading up to Madden 24's release, make sure to be a subscriber, Woo! hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. Now, the first thing that I'm going to go over is not necessarily going to you know change the gameplay too much, hopefully, uh, but it's something that will definitely add to the immersiveness of the gameplay and that's referees being back on the field I, I still remember to this day what it was like playing with referees on the field because there was a lot of issues one of the reasons that they took away referees on the field is because they had a way of getting in the way of certain plays like they used to have a referee right in the middle of the field that was kind of at the same depth as the linebacker and if you were playing linebacker he'd get in your way from moving left to right laterally uh, if you're playing offense you get in the way of certain passes like slants and stuff like that so that to me was a good reason to get rid of it so so they definitely learn from their mistakes because the referees on the field now are very limited and they're almost to a point where they're so far away that they'll never get in the way of the gameplay. They're really just window dressing. The same way they brought back referees, they're bringing back minicamp drills, uh, but they're adding a lot more. I don't know if you remember these in the past. I don't remember what year they, they introduced minicamp drills, but there was a lot of really cool ones. One of my personal favorites was Coffin Corner, which you saw in the trailer a slight picture of. Um, but they're bringing back rushing, passing drills, you name it, and they're adding quite a few more. So it's not just them bringing back ones that used to be in the game. They're they're adding a lot to it, and they're tweaking a lot of these to the point where it's just going to make, you know, the, the mini drills were always fun. And if you play a franchise mode, you can do this stuff in the off season. You can do it, you know, week to week to improve your, your you know, focal players and stuff like that, which is really cool. And, and it's something that I think um, will add a fun element to the game. Next up, we have some potential new abilities, but apparently you can unlock Acrobat for Devontae Adams in franchise mode. I don't know if it's something that people are going to have uh, in regular online head-to-head -head gameplay, but it's going to be an option, and to me, that makes way more sense than Acrobat on defense. You see players on defense that are typically known to not have as good a hands as offensive players making these ridiculous one-handed interceptions and stuff like that that they never should make. That's something that a player like Devontae Adams or Justin Jefferson or something like that. Acrobat to me should be something that an offensive player has, not a defensive player. Now, another zone ability that's going to be new this year that, uh, you know, is being reported once again by Mutt Leaks, which is a very reputable source, is something called Route Artist, where it says access to custom hot routes. Receivers with pure route running are like artists. When in the zone, their routes can be built before the snap. Now, built is a loaded word. I don't really don't know what that means. I don't know if what they're saying is you can straight up draw a route before the play, which doesn't really sound like it makes sense to me. It doesn't sound like some EA is going to be able to put in. I think it's more realistic that you're just going to have more route options. Maybe you have the ability to cycle through uh, certain routes that you wouldn't typically get from like Route Apprentice. Now, the next thing is QBs are able to scramble again outside of the pocket, which is something that they really tried to take away in Madden 23. Uh, you guys, if you played the game at all, you know that the second you would either sprint or move too much in the pocket or especially just leave the pocket entirely. If you were to go outside the left or right tackle, you would notice that nine times out of 10, the defensive end would immediately block shed and hunt you down, which made uh, scrambling pretty much impossible. Uh, that seems to be gone. There's, It's not going to be to the point where it was in Madden 22 where everybody was running around like chickens with their heads cut off. But it's going to be there are going to be situations where scrambling is going to be much more available than it was in Madden 23 because they basically took that away entirely. Uh, they they went overboard and it looks like they tweaked that back down to the point where mobile QBs should be able to run around again, which is something that you know it's real life. I mean, look at guys like Lamar Jackson, Jalen Hurts. I mean, you know Patrick Mahomes. These guys escape the pocket. They run around. It's 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 something that you see in real life. So it should also be in Madden, and it looks like it's going to make a bit of a comeback. Well, it looks like they've really improved the blocking. 
uh, in Madden 24. Run blocking when it comes to like double teams, getting to the second level seems to be better. The targeting system seems to be better. When you have pulling blocks, long time ago, sweeps were the way to go. You used to run toss plays and stuff like that. Uh, but the targeting system over time got so bad that the the pulling blockers would just miss their assignments to the point where you would just get buried in the backfield. Uh, so it really got to a point where it really wasn't worth doing that. Well, it looks like the targeting system is going to be a lot better. So I can't say if this is going to be a, a run-dominant year, but EA is probably always trying to go for balance. So it, the run game last year was really weak because the blocking wasn't really good. Player, uh, defensive players especially would get off of their blocks way too easily. It looks like they're trying to make it more balanced where the run-heavy uh, players will at least have their ability to play the style of gameplay that they want to play. It seems like the league is a passing league now, so they want the game to reflect that. Now, another big change that people are being very wary about is the onside kick changes that they're uh, basically saying is going to be a lot easier to get onside kicks. Now, by a lot easier, I just mean not impossible. I don't want to say that it's going to be to the point where um, you know, you can do it every time, but there's going to be players that you run into online that are going to be doing it every single time and having a much higher success rate. So be ready for that. Anytime that EA tweaks something like this, it's really in a danger zone where it could be exploited very easily. And I expect that. I expect people to spend time mastering onside kicks. And like I said, I'm not saying it's going to be every game, but you're going to run to high level players that are going to be doing onside kicks every single time. And it's going to make the gameplay super annoying. I know me personally, the second I get my hands on the game full, I'm going to be practicing onside kicks to the point to see if there's a specific way to hit that ball to get it every single time. And if I do, I'm going to make a video about it. Then it's going to be a huge problem. Some other gameplay changes uh, that I noticed that are going to affect a lot of people is going to be the playbook changes. There's been some playbook changes uh, that are really team specific. The Eagles playbook for myself personally, I'm probably going to go into that way more than I have in the past because they add a lot of pistol formations. The Eagles last year ran a lot of pistol formations. They ran a lot of RPO plays. So it only makes sense that they add that to that particular playbook. So that's probably going to be one of my favorite playbooks. You guys know if you watch this channel, I use the Ravens a lot for that very same reason. The Eagles are probably going to be one of the, the my favorite playbooks to use next year, especially since I'm an Eagles fan. Uh, they also really nerfed the gun type formations because I know that everybody and their mother was running that last year. This is the reason that I don't run meta stuff because once something gets too overpowered, they basically try to take it away. So all the gun tight and all the gun tight offset TE formations are apparently gone or changed to a point where they're just not the same anymore, which is fine by me because I really try to avoid it at the end of the day. And that's something that uh, is not going to affect me as much because anytime something is too meta, I know it's going to get nerfed or I know it's going to disappear. You know, you guys saw it last year with the loop blitzes. I never really ran loop blitzes and they were when they were gone it didn't really affect me. So that's really the benefit of following this channel is I'm always gonna go for off meta stuff that's just as good as the meta stuff. Next up I'm gonna go over Superstar Showdown, which I never really played. I know there was some superstar mode, like superstar KO and all kind of dumb stuff. I never really played those modes. But if this one is as close to 2K, like a lot of people are saying, including Mudleaks, which is one of the few Twitter accounts that I put a lot of stock into, they said that Superstar is going to feature over 50 upgradable abilities, new team boost to stats outcomes, plus 10%, 20%, 30%, along with a multitude of new ability mechanics. And then they question if it's a My Park clone. A lot of people have said that. So ultimately, if this is like My Park, I'm definitely going to put a little bit more time into it because that, to me, is the best thing about 2K's entire experience is My Park. Uh, but I can't imagine it's going to be as good because, to me, football doesn't lend to uh, that type of atmosphere the same way that uh, basketball does. And then last but not least, EA is once again suggesting that their computer AI is going to be improved when you're playing them in an offline experience, which is something that they've been saying for a long time. But in reality, we got to see this to believe this because the computer to me is just really dumb and doesn't make the right decisions, especially if you play like, uh, you know, some of the mutt challenges and stuff like that. They don't really seem to have any idea of how of, <laughs> of the sense of, of, of the game at all. Um, but that's something that they're saying, at least in offline franchise mode experiences, uh, that the computer will adapt to things. Uh, a lot better than it has in the past, especially on offense. If you're playing like a really, you know, a smart QB and they're seeing you run cover three over and over and over again, they're going to start making adjustments to beat cover three. Um, you know, that's something that they said was more geared towards the offense. When it comes to the defense, it sounds like they might do that 
uh, more towards the run, but not necessarily towards the pass, which, you know, it, it's something that people have wanted for a long time. They, they want, a lot of people want the game to play for them in an online experience. If they can't figure out how to stop a certain play, they want the defense to figure it out for them. I don't think EA is ever going to give you that. So that's, that's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, I'll be putting out more in the future as information becomes available. So make sure to be a subscriber, hit like button, let me know in the comment section. If you want to see some of the videos I've put out in the past, I will have them popping up on screen right now. So just click the links and it'll take you there. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.